hello and welcome to another video at Ingest Take. this video I'm going to demonstrate an inverter circuit but before that let's get introduced to my resonator circuit so this is a 3 volt to 3000 volt resonator circuit in the diagram you can see it takes 3 volt plus minus and convert it to 3000 volt now here I'm using the DC to DC buck converter so basically it takes 10 volt here and converts 3 volt there and it complete the circuit now here the main goal of this project is to demonstrate the inverter circuit what is inverter circuit inverter circuit is a kind of logic gauge circuit so basically there is two kinds of circuit I would like to discuss here one is the buffer circuit one is the inverter circuit buffer circuit is very simple so if you turn on the button at the input at the output it get on as well on the other hand the inverter circuit is if you turn on the button at the input at the output it get off and vice versa if you turn off at the input the output get on so this is the mechanism i have established here using two mosfet and one light dependent resistor so the light dependent resistor reduces its resistance when light is shed now it will work as a on switch so basically the configuration of that is that there is two resistor is used and there is one relay the reason the relay is used because there is like a 10 volt um, switching mechanism and uh, the relay is more efficient the amount of current required for this resonance resonator circuit is not possible to directly provide by the MOSFET that's why I have used MOSFET to turn on the relay and the relay turn on the resonator circuit now I have used this inverter circuit mechanism so basically in normal condition this NPN transistor which is a TIP41C transistor I'll show you hope you can hope you can read it JIP 41C and this one is JIP 120 but both are NPN transistor so the working mechanism is identical here you can see the first NPN transistor JIP 41C this one it has got so basically it gets switched on from the relay side so plus 10 volt is injected here it goes there and it excites this magnet to excite this the circuit need to be completed so plus 10 volt is going this way and ground is coming this way to this so the tip 41 c mosfet has three pin base collector base emitter and collector now if i get the as you can see 3 pin base collector and emitter so emitter is the third pin so this third pin emitter is connected to the ground and collector is connected to the ground but this will only be completed if there is plus 3 volt injected so in normal condition this transistor is always on because it is connected to the plus 10 volt which is plus 3 volt and it get always on now we know the principle that electricity follow the path of least resistance so this will be used here so this this part this part is has it already have 2000 ohm resistance now if we can give it a path less than 2000 ohm it will not electricity will not follow through this way it will be diverted so this mechanism used with using the third relay the third relay collector as you can see I have used 